Hey everyone, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. In this video, we are going to learn how to visualize our API response from the Postman. So in general, in Postman, we uh, most of the time get our output or response in terms of XML or JSON or maybe some different format. But whatever the data we are going to get from any API, we are going to convert that into visualization using HTML. And there are plenty of ways to do that. We can use like um, charts like this or even we can use basic template like HTML or we can go with this bar chart or scatter plot and we have different types of um, data as we have but as of now I'm just going to make it very simple as this is our first video on Postman maybe in the next video we learn about charts and how to plot those using the data whatever we are going to get from our API now I'm going to do the simple, very simple thing. So here we have this endpoint which is from GitHub, which doesn't require any authorization or headers. So um, we no need to worry about all those things. It is just a public API, so you can just copy and hit here. It will give you some. It will give you some data basically. So here, if I pass my name, my username of GitHub, and if I just going to hit send here. It is going to give me some response in terms of JSON, I can say. And this has some data like the name of the profile, the URL of the profile, and the avatar URL, that is the display picture of that profile. And basic some data that are publicly available in GitHub. Based on this data, I'm going to just do the data visualization using simple HTML templates. So for that, I have to go to this test and here I have to say uh, before that, let us try to save this response, whatever we are going to get from the postman. So pm basically postman dot response. And here I'm going to get that in the format of JSON. So let me write as JSON. And here I can just give this as, uh, just let me log this first. So console dot log. And here I have to pass my data. So we are going to see this data. Let me open my console and here if I click hit enter so here we can see we got some values as well as here we are getting some error it seems like data has been already stored somewhere so let me change this to maybe get data and let me hit enter and this time we should expect this URL right so here we are getting this um, data from our endpoint and we are going to take this data and we are going to do the template. Now before doing the template, so the method is going to be very easy. It's like pm.set um, visualize I believe. So visualize and here we have to pass our template. So that is going to be my um, HTML template and here I have to pass my original data that is git data. Right, that's it. So this, um, I think it's small, not caps. So this git pm dot set visualization is the visualize is the method which is going to uh, grab a template and it is going to grab my response from here, and it is going to do the visualize for us. But of course we have to create the template now. So I'm just going to bring up my VS Code and here I'm going to write a template. So let me create a template as a variable. And here I'm going to use the back ticks. And as usual, so just a HTML, so nothing much fancy here. So HTML and then followed by closing tag. And within the body tag, I'm just going to give a header, so which is going to um, show my name here, slash h1. And then followed by, we also want to display the picture of the profile. So here I can use the img tag. And here I can give the src. Within the src, I have to pass some data. Let's not worry about that as of now. And in the alt, until the image get loads, we are going to give some um, alternate text. So that will look more good and here let me close this tag here so things are pretty much enough as of now so this is going to be a very quick tutorial so let me copy and paste over here 
and what are the data we are going to get from this template i mean from this git data we have to pass it to here right so we know that in our response we got something like this right so here we got this avatar url so i'm just going to copy this and here i'm going to use this curly braces for two times and within that i have to pass my original data and similarly i want to get my name as well so here is the name let me copy and paste over here in the h1 tag and let me save and hit enter let's see what happens so here we got some error let's see what was that so pm dot set visualize is not a function okay i think i have done some mistakes let me check the documentation here So the function name is pm.visualizer, not visualize. So that's the mistake done here. So not a problem. So let me just correct it here. And then we are going to save and hit send now. Now successfully we got without any exception. So if I go to this down here, and if I go to this body tag here, I can see a new section called visualize. If I click on this, this guy is going to pull up my name and the image avatar from my github repository right now let's say that we are going to check for another one another profile maybe we can pass this selling image queue and if i just so here we are able to see this selenium and then followed by this um, avatar of the selenium and so on right so this is very simple guys this is very simple just we have to pull up the data and we have to pass the data using this pm.visualizer.set function and then it needs two argument one is the template which is going to be html now in terms of html we know right so we can pass so many um, um, data like we can pass this a chart and scatter chart plot chart i mean scatter plot and some um, random data like that so of course we will see all this in detail maybe in some another video as of now this is just going to be a quick video so i just thought instead of going to authorization and so many stuff it will be very easier for us to understand this concept here so i hope you have enjoyed the video and thanks for watching if you like the video uh, let me know if you have any queries do let me know see you in the next one take care bye bye